Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and today we're going to be talking about Arcanas. So if you don't know what an Arcana is, or Arcana, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, it's basically a Dota 2 item. But it goes a little bit deeper than that, and you probably have seen a lot of people in CSGO that are trading for Arcanas, or are trading with Arcanas. And you're probably wondering to yourself, what exactly is an Arcana, and that's why you clicked on this video. So today, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about Dota 2 Arcanas. So the first question we have to answer is what exactly is an Arcana? So as I said, it's a Dota 2 item, and it's not really an item itself, but it's rather a group of items that are under the rarity of Arcana. So yeah, as you can see, it's not really a specific one item, it's kind of just a generalization of all the items that fall under the Arcana rarity. And so basically what these things do is they customize a character in Dota 2, they're essentially just cosmetics, they're kind of, you know, not pay to win, they're, they're just... You can get them, you can put them on your character, make it customized, and they don't really change the, you know, damage values or anything like that. They're just, you know, normal customization items. So what I'm going to do is just put up all the Arcanas on screen that we currently have, and I will mark the ones that are most desirable with the little red arrow. And so as you can see, the Fractal Horns of Inner Abysm are obviously a very desirable Arcana. They look very good in game, I'm assuming. I don't play Dota 2, but I do know that these are kind of ones that CSGO traders are more interested in because they sell better. So here's the next list of Arcanas. We have the Manifold Paradox in this one, which is another very desirable Arcana. A lot of traders want it, so if you do want to get some Arcanas, definitely the Manifold Paradox or the Fractal Horns of Inner Abysm, as I said before. And finally, here's the list of the rest of the Arcanas. You have the Bladeform Legacy and Feast of Obsession that are also really good to trade and very liquid. Uh, to I kind of explain why these are the more popular Arcanas and the better ones to invest in, basically the thing with Arcanas is they go on certain heroes as customizable options for those heroes. And the thing is, those heroes, cert certain heroes, have better pick rates than others, and the ones with better pick rates are the ones that Arcanas are more tradable on because they're more liquid. Now there's also two more, Demon Eater and the Tempest Helm of the Thunder God. Both of those are also really good Arcanas, but they're not as popular as the other ones that I mentioned. So those ones are still good though, and if you want to trade with them, you shouldn't have any problem at all. So now let's get into why they're good for CSGO. So obviously in CSGO we have trade bans, and basically every time you trade an item with somebody, that item will have a 7 day trade ban, so that person won't be able to trade the item that you trade them for seven days and we all are very aware of this it kind of sucks it sucks that Valve implemented it it was a way to counter bots but it didn't do very good obviously and uh, you know we kind of just have this general problem and the way to fix it is to either use these Dota 2 Arcanas or the TF2 uh, keys because th both of these items do not actually have trade holds they definitely have different values than CSGO keys uh, or like CSGO liquid items like red lines, but they are, you know, still very, very good and uh, they, they can be traded without a trade hold. So that made them very, very popular in the global offensive trade scene. In fact, if you go to global offensive trade, the subreddit right now, you'll actually see that almost all of the posts that are actually trading for something want Arcanas because they're so good because they don't have any trade hold and you can make a lot of profit without having to worry about the trade hold. Basically, Arcanas and TF2 keys by extension have given CSGO players and CSGO traders a better option to make profit. And obviously the 7 day trade ban that we have in CSGO was inhibiting a lot of people from being able to make profit at a fast rate, but now that they don't have to worry about a trade hold by using Arcanas, they can still make the same amount of profit that they made before, and they can do very, very well with that. Now let's get into pricing. So basically, the price of an Arcana, if you want to go to the Steam community market, you can actually buy any Arcana off of that. They range from about $20 to $30, and that leaves them at about an 11.5 key price. So if you have keys and you want Arcanas, you can actually trade 11.5 keys uh, for one Arcana. So that can actually work pretty well. What you should do though is you should trade bulk keys for Arcanas. So like for example, if you want two Arcanas, that's a lot better because then you won't have to deal with the 0.5 key part of it. So you can actually trade, uh, you know, 20, 23 keys total for the nice Arcana. Now if you're a longtime viewer of me, you've probably noticed this is the second video I've made about Arcanas, and that's true, but that's because Arcanas have gotten a lot more popular in like the past month or two, and that's because a lot more people on Global Offensive Trade are using them to trade for CSGO items. So basically, even though they're a Dota 2 item, they still have the same amount of desire, same amount of demand, and the, you know, good supply that we need uh, for a strong liquid item. So if you want to go ahead and buy some Arcanas and not have to worry about that trade hold, this is a really good time to do so since so many people want them. Now obviously with everything there comes drawbacks with the 11.5 key price of the Arcanas that is quite high and a lot of lower tier traders don't have that amount of money to spend on Arcanas so you know that can be 
kind of a roadblock for a lot of people. Uh, also, they're not really a great investment because they are at a pretty consistent price. They are going to kind of remain at this price for a very long time unless something completely random happens. And uh, the other problem is that since so many people are investing in them right now, they can artificially change the prices quite easily. And this, uh, this huge wave of people investing in them can really cause a huge bubble. And obviously, I don't think that's going to really happen just because they are so high in demand and so high in supply and they're traded so much. But I do think that that is something you should watch out for. You shouldn't really go all in to them. I, I would say just handle some of your smaller trades with them and uh, maybe don't go all in on Arcanas would be my advice. So if you're interested in getting started with Arcanas, go over to some of the sites that I have listed on screen right now. And then obviously you can go trade those at r slash global offensive trade or by using the Steam community discussion boards. Or you can go join my Discord server, which has a very active trading community. We are 300 members strong officially. And you can go join my trading community on my Discord and check that out. A lot of people are wanting Arcanas on there as well, I've seen. So if you want to go do any of those things, feel free. The Discord link is in the description below as always. Also, I have a Twitter Twitter account if you want to go follow that. I'm using it a little bit more frequently than I have been before and it's a really good community on there as well. So go check those all out and I will see you all next time. Peace. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. And thanks for all the support recently. We're really, really close to 700 subscribers at this point and we are still obviously reaching for that 1000 so we can do that awesome knife giveaway. And uh, yeah, with that being said, thanks again for watching. I'll see you all next time.